Today we'll be going over on how I can connect my Gmail to my CBB account. And so without further ado, let's jump straight into it. It's gonna be a quick one. Great, as you can see, we hit our CBB account. The first thing we wanna do is head on over to settings, channels, head on down to email and click on connect. So I'm gonna choose Gmail for this one. So I'm gonna use my email username, astaworkmail at gmail.com will do. Now, a lot of us make the mistake, at least I did a bunch of times, is entering my email address password right here. Now that's not the correct way to do it. So I've got the Freshdesk support um, window open here. I'll leave the link down in the description below. And the first thing I'm gonna do is type in here, Gmail, keep it real simple. Great, so I'm gonna click on Seamless Email Integration in Chatbot Builder, SMTP. Scroll on down, this is a great video to watch. I'm gonna go further down here. Right where it says Gmail. Read wise, we advise you to use app password. Learn how to create app password here. I'm simply gonna just click on this button. So for this, let's click on Google account. Create and use an app password. This is exactly what we want. So we're gonna click on go to your Google account. So open up new window. I'm gonna switch here to Aster work mail, which is the one we're gonna be using for this instance. Close this tab. Right, so now that we've switched over to this, I'm gonna head on over to security. I'm gonna click on two-step verification and I'm gonna turn this on. So get started. Enter my password. If I can remember it. Great, so now it's gonna send me a code 782, 425782. I've received my code, I've verified it, and I wanna turn on two-step verification. We're almost there. Now all, all I'm gonna do is scroll all the way to the bottom where it says app password, none. Click on this little arrow here. Now I'm gonna give it a name. Create. It will then give me a password, which I can copy. Done. Perfect. Now we're back over to CBB, and where it says password, we'll paste it in right there. Click on continue. And you are connected. It's as simple as that. Now let's test this actually out by going over to flows. Perfect, so for this we're gonna click on add. Now I'm gonna name this one email test. Email test, wonderful. Now we're gonna click on the little plus at the bottom here and click on send email. I'm gonna create this one as the starting step and remove this one for now. Now for this, let's try it out. Now I'm gonna change this. Usually you don't have to change it. You don't touch that, right? I'm just doing it for this instance because I don't have access to the email on this particular um, account where I'm gonna be sending it to. But I'm just gonna put this as Asta sana at gmail.com with a, if I can spell my name right now for subject we're gonna have it as test pre header test headline this is a test and for image we're gonna leave it blank we can remove that for now we just want to see the email test remove the button now really simple let's click on publish and preview. Now, as I said before, you don't have to change this section right here. I'm just doing it for this instance because the email address which I have signed up to my CBB account is not signed in on here. So for this instance, I'm just gonna keep it as asksonnetgmail.com. So let's check it out. We have previewed it. It's opened this blank one right here. So let me head over to my inbox and there we go. We have received it. Simple set, test, test. So there's the process on connecting your Gmail to your CBB account. If you have any questions, you can put them down in the comment section below. This is a really short one. I hope you found value in this. I'll catch you in the next one.